Hello, darlings. Happy Monday to you all, and welcome to Let's Build. <laughs> Don't know where the R's coming through in the background. If you hear weird sounds, I've once again got my fanny out of my office because for some reason the UK has decided to go back to summer um, today, and I'm not for it. I'm ready for autumn. The sun can absolutely do one. I'm just not for it. And we have a little blue down there as well. The wire is the fan. Don't worry, it's not trapped in there or anything. And look, look what else I've got. Tom got me the Great Hall, Hogwarts Great Hall in Lego for my birthday. Um, and I built it. I was going to do it on stream, but I just couldn't wait. I'm very sorry. Um, but yeah, she's she's very nice. I do enjoy her. Not really sure about her on this like shelving unit. I want more shelves like here. And I'm having some more shelves put around the sides of my build. Um, of my build. I've got builds on the head as love. In the head even. Um, yeah, so I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. But I've just put it up there for the meantime. Don't worry, the friends one hasn't moved. Oh, where am I going here? She's down there. The friends one is down there. Look at all this leads. Look at all of that mess. I'm not asked. I'm just a Virgo. Anyway. We're back. We're back at Crookdown Theatre, my loves. We're going to be carrying on with the interiors today. I have picked the two final Sims moving into this lot um, as shared by you lot. Thank you so much for all of your, like, sharing all of your Sims. It's amazing. We're going to be doing this a lot more as the series progresses. Um, so, yeah, be on the lookout for more Sims to be added, my loves, because they are going in to this amazing let's play build build yeah let's build and look away i'm tooting my own horn as well stop waffling aiden let's just get into bloody game so the first sim that we're going to be moving in in the last two slots is this gorgeous kid here the whiz kid paco i absolutely love this this is by freckled apple three on the gallery um, Paco is an orphan. Before wounding up in Crookdown Theatre in Strangerville, he was a foster kid. He hated all of his foster families. Apparently, every foster parent he's had insisted putting him in dresses, and he hates dresses. He argued that the dresses made it hard for him to make robots since they, since they would always get stuck to the workbench. Jerry gets it. So Paco never had a reason to leave. I love that. I love, love, love that. So obviously, Paco is a trans boy. And we just need representation throughout this whole series, my love. So I loved him. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. He's so cute. Absolutely. Definitely from Asian descent as well, which I love. And I love the freckles on his face as well. Love the... We're all about representation, my darling. And I really liked it. I love the fact that he's got coloured hair too. Love that. You slay it, Paco. So yeah, Paco's coming to join the clan. And the last one is Prototype 001. Um... This is by Emo Trash. I think that is Emo Trash. Hilda's parents are very interested in Sims and how they function. So they sent down their daughter as an experiment to see how kind Sims can be to an orphaned child and how well she can adapt to her new surroundings. Who knows? Maybe one day she'll return to her homeworld. I love this. I want it an alien or some kind of occult child Sim in this Let's Play or Let's Build. And I think... I think she's going to be the one for me. I think she's absolutely cute. Very cute. So she's called Hilda. Um, I reckon that Jerry knows that she's an alien. I reckon they, like, have got an understanding. But the rest of everybody around her are kind of oblivious to the fact of it. She tries to hide her kind of identity. Now, she is a genius. Well, she's a geek. But I'm going to say she's a genius as well. I kind of love it. So that's it. We've got a full clan. And we're ready to roll, my loves. So here we are, my darlings, back at Crook Down Theatre. A few changes have been made since last time. I'll show you them in just a second. Um, I will first off show you the interior shot of what this lovely little residential area is going to be and look like. Um, so obviously you're coming through this way. I'm thinking about putting a small kitchen in here, having this as a dining space. This is going to be the living area. But what I was thinking about doing... Um, I don't know how I'm going to manage this, but I was going to try and see if I could do like a walkway or even just fill in this gap here and have this as like a an open window-esque there so the kids, if they wanted to, could watch whatever production is being done if they're not in it. 
Um, I kind of liked that idea. Obviously, I've changed around the balcony area as well. That other balcony was not working for me. And I think this really suits it a lot better. And obviously, they can kind of sort of see now. <laughs> they can see the plays being at hand. We've just got to pretend that these are kind of raised up and they can sit at the top. I could have raised this up with like move objects, but I'd rather this lot be usable. Um, so we've kept it like that. Kept it like that um into here so yeah dining area this is going to be the bathroom obviously and these areas here are all going to be bedrooms so i think a couple of like the teens might have to share a room and then we'll try and separate the children off as much as possible to whatever rooms they want to go in um you may be thinking well why the hell is jerry going to sleep and I, I was just like yeah jerry's not going to have room in here really so i did jerry a little roof terrace with a tent <laughs> i think it's quite a cute idea it's still got access up into here and he's got he's he's happy he's happy being outside i'm gonna put a little fire pit out here for him and maybe his chair and something i reckon he'd be happy enough to sit up on top of the roof and go sleep in a tent he spoils these kids he wants these kids wants these kids to have the best start that they possibly can and he knew that he just couldn't fit in this whole place so jerry's gonna sleep up on the roof in a tent i love that idea i'm here for it and it's happening um and i think that was it obviously i um finished off this area last time with what the hell is that? Oh, God. Look at those. Look at those bastards creeping through. Maybe I need to change that freeze then. That freeze might be too big. Why is that even a thing? Like, why does that happen? Oh, for good. Once, like, what am I, like, five minutes in and I'm complaining about the game already? Well, you know, what would it be? What would it be if I didn't, to be honest? Right, there's no matching wad types for these because Sims... Um, this one here is simple. Does that go on the outside too? Yep, that still sticks through as well. So great. So great. Love this. Love this so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Jean-Paul. Once again, Jean-Paul is here to join us for this. That is a completely different color, but I don't care right now. I'd rather have a different color than a big pokey bit coming out the side of the building. I mean, I could have hit that quite easily, but... I'm not going to. So today, what are we doing? We are going to be finishing off the main staging area and all of backstage as well. And then if possible, we'll get over into the bar area. But I might leave that whole area, the up and downstairs to that area for the last part, which is coming out tomorrow for this build anyway. And then we're obviously moving on to the circus. But that's not until Friday. We're going to be starting the circus on Friday because Wednesday, I'm going to go over an itinerary for you. Wednesday, I'm going to be doing um, the... What am I doing Wednesday? Oh, Sims Medieval. I'm going to be bringing the Sims Medieval video out. And then on Thursday, I'm doing a pack overview for Harry and Felix Anders' new Jardin pack. So, yes, I'm very excited. I am definitely can't wait to start kind of um, sort of giving overviews for CC packs. I've always wanted to do it. So this is where it's happening. Right, you can go away because you don't deserve to be there. We've got these up there. I've also put some stage lights up here too. Um, just needed that really. Do I want to do a little uh, spandrel moment up here? I think we should. Maybe we should use the red as well and it would kind of... Oh God, oh God, no, not you, darling. There we go. And there we go as well. What is that doing there? Go away. You're not invited. What? Oh, I think it's from where I moved the stage around. I mean, the uh, balcony area. Okay, not too bad. Right, now, staging. So, we wanted an apocalyptic vibe coming through here, didn't we? So, let me get all of the objects from Get Famous. Let me see them, please. Show all. Where are all of these apocalyptic objects? Obviously, we're going to be sizing down a lot of things because they're not going to be able to fit in here. So, we've got them too. Um, where's all the other apocalyptic vibes? I think the other ones are all a little bit too big, to be honest with you, darling. I mean, we could get that that in here. That does kind of... I just, I still want room for them to be able to get up onto the stage, though. And that card's far too small. We'll get rid of you. How big would you need to be? Um, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. We're going to crack on. We're going to crack on. So, let's just try and make this look like a street. Oh, things are going to poke through the bloody back, aren't they? 
I mean, this isn't going to be realistic at all because you would need to be able to get back here. But this is The Sims. This is The Sims. This is not real life, people. I know we all wish it to be sometimes, but it's not. It's definitely not. Um, thank you guys for all of your amazing comments on my last speed build. I had so much fun creating that. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, it is um, the abandoned power station. Like, I loved it. Loved creating that lot. I really did. Oh, and I also put in the kind of like light area back here. So this is where your Sims would come to kind of, well, all of your lighting and sound design Sims. This is where they would be kind of putting the show on, shall we say. We're going to put a few more objects up there, but I thought we'd just start out with that first, loves. Right. So they would need to pretend that there's some kind of tarmac on the road so if we go into, not metal, Aiden, definitely not metal. I think it's in here, isn't it? And it's quite far down, if I remember right. Um, where are you? This one? Yeah, this one here. So if I can do like, maybe put that like that. Lovely. And then a sidewalk. Maybe we could use the new brick. That looks very sidewalky to me. Or pavement, as we call it in the UK. Um... Yes, that's fine. And then I'm going to do a little yellow line, a double yellow line, but I'll just do one. Um, and we'll do that. Maybe we'll just do it on the edge, actually. I don't want to do that just in case it disrupts the foundation or something. So I won't put it straight to the edge. Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm then going to go back into all of this stuff from Get Famous because they have got those like markers and things, haven't they? Yeah, these here. Stage mark paired scenes. Okay. So we face it that way. That looks like a good spot for them to stand. Is that another one? A sword fight scene? We don't want that, darling. Solo scenes. Maybe a solo scene could go there. Will they be able to get past here? Well, the stairs there anyway, if they can't. We'll do a little solo scene there. Maybe out towards that direction. Stunning. And then maybe I can move this back a little bit. Just a little bit further. Oh, gorgeous. Right. Um, I don't know if it comes of any... Cummed? Wow. Wow. Not only is that filth, but that is also not even English, to be honest. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I, I think it didn't come with any drains. <laughs> and I ended up being absolutely disgustingly filth, didn't I? Not for it. Right, let's go back into here. And I know there's some stuff in debug, so I may even check that out in just a second. But let me just have a little goosey goo through here. What's this? Eh, it doesn't really match the vibes, to be honest with you, love. Doesn't match the vibes and I'm not for it. Not for it. Oh, yeah, this would do really well. We'll put that there. Little bit of stage thingy. Thingy my bob, you know, just in case. <laughs> no idea. Absolutely no idea. This is lighting, so we're going to put this back here as well. This is quite a small area, isn't it? So maybe if I like, what about if I did that in this orientation here? They would want to be able to see the stage though. So in fact, I'm going to do you there. And I'm going to whiffle you around to there, love. But I'm also going to put one of these backstage as well. Just because I can. Just because I can. Um, would they see that over there? They would. They would definitely see it. So maybe I could like just boosh out this instead. Boosh out that. Bricks on one side, wood on the other. Never mind. Never mind. And then what I'll do is kind of separate this off like this. Oh God, sorry for the spins. Sorry for the spins. Um, how was your weekend? Hope you had a lovely weekend. Um, mine was good. I was trying to get the bloody speed build done on time, though that was a little bit stressful. I was trying not to get stressed, but. It, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. But no, I know every single time that I, like, I'm running late or something, I stress myself out and I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I should just let it roll. Oh, there's another one. Look, we'll put that one in there. Don't like the colours of that. That's better. It's better. It's a bit darker. Lovely. Um, Let's have a look into the... I'm going to pull out a few things. Give me one sec. Okay, there we go. I've just found this one, but I think we'll make this look a little bit more apocalyptic ourselves with maybe a few cracks or whatever. Um, we'll try anyway. Now my thoughts were the backdrop here, it kind of needs like a cityscape. 
But I don't think we've really got any kind of cityscape thingies. I mean, that's not too... That's very cartoonish, though, isn't it? It would look a little bit too bright and cheerful for an apocalyptic vibe. But what about... Mm, didn't something come with city living? It was that canvas. But again, I think that's going to be a bit too bright and lively. But we're going to try it anyway. Where are you, darling? Oh, no, this might work. This might work, actually. It's quite a muted downtone. But this might actually be okay. I mean, it's not going to fit perfectly. But I just wanted something in the backdrop just to make it look like a skyline behind this. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I'm into that. Very much into that. So we've got like a, a special effects kind of thing. We'll put the special effects thing there. Lovely. And then I'm just going to make this look a little bit more uh, apocalyptic. I don't. I think these cracks are going to go. Oh, no, they're not. Nope, nope. We can get them here. It's fine. I thought they were going to go and stick to the wall behind it then, but they're not, which is absolutely Stunning. Right, let's lift these up then. Show me the crack. <clears throat> Very sorry. Very sorry about my awful, awful filthy brain. Disgusting. Right, and then up again. Not saying it again. Nearly did. Nearly did. Had to stop myself. Had to stop myself. There we go. That looks a bit better. And then maybe just hang some of those... Um, yeah, like these thingamabobs. There we go, one there. Oh, stunning. In fact, that will do. That will do rather lovely. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Now, if I was doing a bigger theatre build, I would love to have done like an orchestra area down in the basement. I'm going to try and do another theatre one day and try and build it as realistically as I possibly can. But um, this is just a community theatre. We don't need to get dramatic. We really don't. Now, do I want to hang some, like, drapes around everywhere? Like these. I, thought, I remember the red being weird, though. So maybe these. Just in a few spots. Just to, like, you know. Je ne sais quoi bleu. You know. That's all I've got to say. And you, you guys know exactly what I mean. <laughs> Right, these are so hard to find. Why didn't they just group these together? Oh, once again, making life difficult for us simmers, aren't they? Making life difficult for us simmers. Right, we're going to do that and that there. Lovely. We'll do another row behind it. I'm going to have to whiffle these chairs a little bit. Um, And I'll do one on the edge there as well. Lovely. So I'll just pull these chairs out just slightly. Just them ones as well. Just them. Does that look odd? Yeah, it looks weird now. I'm going to pull them all out. All out together. Again, we're not striving for per perfection here, loves. Even though perfection is very nice. Very nice indeed. <laughs> right, and then up here, I'm going to do some, like, some of their past plays, I reckon. So, yep, yeah, that looks very playish. Does this come in multiple ones? Oh, it does. Oh, yes, and you. And then I really love the... Where is it? The one with the beautiful lady on the front. That one. Love that. Love that design there. Beautiful. And then we can do a couple more on here as well. Yep, a pirate show was here as well. Stunning. Oh, yeah, I'm into that. Yes, very much into that. Okay. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do here... Oh, no, I've just thought... I was going to do hazard tape here, but the Sims don't walk through the hazard tape, which makes sense. So maybe I'll just do... Oh, I'll, I'll do a little bit. I'll do a little bit just to give, you know, the illusion that... Oh, God, he won't be, they would not be able to use that. Oh, God, the, cross, the stairs don't like that. They would not be able to go past there. So, no, I'm not going to do it. Shant and won't. Shant and won't. Right. So, this is the kind of lighting and sound design area. Um, 
or sound equipment even. Okay. Okay, that there. And then maybe above here, we could do some storage where they could have some more pieces. Some more pieces and more sound equipment and what have you. What have you indeed. Um, Maybe not you, love. Just something a bit plainer than that. Should we do... Oh, I can't even see them. Can't even see them. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they look a, bit, a little bit older as well. Let me just see. Spatial awareness, my dear. Spatial awareness. And then a corner piece in the dark tone, please. Thank you very much. Corner. Corner. Thank you. <laughs> corner. Yeah, some plates. <laughs> some plates. You know how it goes. You just know how it goes, to be honest. Um. Yeah, cool. Well, I'm kind of happy with how this area looks down here. I think we'll go up. Uh, I might actually do a chandelier down here as well. Just to brighten up this area. And I'll do it like there. And obviously they would need to turn the chandelier off when the performance comes through. I've got a really itchy nose. It's doing my head in. Always when I go to record. Didn't have an itchy nose before I started. I think it might be. I tried a new essential oil in my essential oil diffuser. The eucalyptus. So maybe it's that. Maybe it's just clearing my passages. That sounds really, really awful. Very awful indeed. <laughs> I'm going to move this in line with all of this. Just so it makes a bit of sense, really. Oh, God. There we go. And here we go up to the top of the stairs as well. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to do another one there. And we'll do the same downstairs. I might even just litter that corner, actually. Let's litter that corner in a curtain. And then I'm going to do the whole backdrop here. The whole of it, apart from obviously where the door is. Because they will need to get out. They very much will. Oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, that, that just looks weird of a gap there now. So I'm going to fill it in. Yes, very drama. Very drama. Absolutely here for it. Sims probably won't be able to get down here. But they're not going to be using this very much. Um, to be honest. Realistically in gameplay. You know. You know what I mean. Yeah, this is looking cute. I do enjoy it. I very much do. Okay. Well, I think the theatre area is done all it needs to do, really. Um, Yeah, I like it. Can I put a trim there? I don't think I... Oh, I can. There we go. Put a nice trim there. Stunning. And I think there I'm going to put a pillar. What pillars did I use in there? No, I'm not going to use a red one. I'm just going to use a plain brun. That's too light. There we go. Like there. Stunning. There we go. Little microphone as well. We'll put loads of musical instruments around so they can use them if they need it needs be. You don't know if they're doing a musical or not, do we? And then I'll do another pillar there as well. Oh, stunning. Absolutely 100% here for that. I really am. Okay, so backstage area. So this is the kind of beauty getting ready area. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to move the... No, I'm not going to move the door. I'm going to keep it where it is. But I'm going to change the direction in which it opens. I can't see my keys. There we go. Yes. I'm going to put tiles in here, actually. Tiles on the floor. Or maybe linoleum. Something that looks a little bit haggard. Yeah, there we go. And the same for the actual bathroom and chill out area. No, we'll keep wood in there. We'll keep wood in there. There we go. And a nice big mirror. I'm going to do like a side here as well. Just so it looks like they could get makeup and stuff out of it. Do I want to use this one? I want some with multiple drawers on. But I hate the colour ways for this um, kitchen counter. I think that's probably our best bet, isn't it? There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes. Okay. So this is going to act as like a chill out area and dressing room. So we're going to use a lot of the uh, kind of like clothes rails and stuff. Um, bathroom mirror. Probably the long one. Oh, yeah, but I don't want it to look too modern. So maybe that one would be the best. I mean, you're not going to be able to see. <laughs> you would not be able to see, love. So maybe just using the plain normal one. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, there we go. 
Can I put a crack in that? No, I can't. I won't be able to because it's against... It will go straight against the wall. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm going to move this a little bit more over that way now, though. And the same with the door. A bit more, my love. A bit more. Stunning. Oh, stunning. Okay, right. Little objects for them to get ready with. So they have got those hair dryers and whatnot. There we go. I always size it down, though, because I find it far too large. Um... Makeup, um, maybe some laundry, like costumey bits, and maybe a little just bag of all like all sorts objects, props, you know, all of that kind of business. I would say they would probably need a clock in this room as well, just in case. Well, just so they knew what time it was before they get on stage. So I'm going to put a little clock up somewhere. There we go. In fact, I'm going to put the clock over this side. Stunning. So they know that they're running on time. And I think I'm going to... No, I'm not going to put a rug underneath. I was going to put like a rug of all of the like paint splatters and stuff on it. But it's tiles. And they're not going to be precious about this floor by the looks of things. So I'll keep it as it is. And maybe just a, a little chair. Not a kind of lounging chair, but just maybe something like this. Just so they've got somewhere to sit if they are waiting to have their makeup done or they just want to chat they just want to chat before they go out you know you don't know you do not know what they're about really yeah that's not too bad at all should i get a sink in here i think i am i think i'm gonna get that little um this one just there yeah <laughs> just in case you know you never know and I'll put a little plant on it. Or maybe some flowers. Like flowers before they go on to... Yes, we'll do that. Very dressing room. I hate that bunch of flowers, but we're using them. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. That's done exactly what I wanted it to. But I think what we need to do is just make it look a little bit more rough around the edges than here. So I'm going to... Mm, maybe use a few of these damper pieces. And maybe just a few cracks here and there. One there. And across there as well. Stunning. And then maybe just one creeping around like that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And maybe just a few dampy bits by the windows. We'll do it on the outside. Like so. And then on the inside as well. Just so it looks like it's kind of creeped through. It's a little bit nasty. A little bit nasty. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad at all, really. Not too bad at all. Okay. I may actually move this down here. And then I'm going to put a... We're still going to use multiple of these, but I'm going to put a clothes rail quite near... Um, Do I want to use that one? I think the other one would probably look better for stage. Yeah, it does. I'll put that one there. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous! Right, and I don't think I'm going to put much on these bits out here, apart from some detail on the walls using cracks. Absolute cracks. Just everywhere. Just everywhere. Maybe they could, like, set up a fundraiser or something to try and give this place a makeover and renovate it. Um, or even not, like, fully renovate it, just make it better. Make it better because it is still a lovely building, you know, but just new carpets, you know, that kind of business, that kind of business dealing a bit of tidying. You know. <laughs> anyway, chill out area. So there's going to be lots of kids here. So I would say a TV is probably a must. Um, do, 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 do we do TVs fit on top of that? I don't really like it, but I'm just wondering. Oh, God, I hate this even more. No. No. I mean, I, I do like this. I said I didn't like it. I do. But I don't love it. <laughs> I think, why don't I like this again? I've got no reason to not like this. I'm going to retract that statement. I love this. I love it doesn't need to be a massive tv yeah something along those lines um 
we'll pop it into the corner like so. We'll put a nice, just a, a, quite a worn out sofa. Yeah, like that. Stunning. Um, I've been using this color a lot recently, so I'm going to go for brun. There we go. Stunning. And then, mm, maybe not so much music back here, because they would hear. So maybe, oh, these would work. Yeah, we'll get a few of these out as well. You know, you never know when you need an amp. Oh, God. There we go. Stunning. We've got a microphone there as well. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Lovely. What I was going to do here was put a games console, but no, not like an expensive one. What's the cheapest? There we go. 400. Stunning. The cheap games console, just in case they're not, like, on stage that day. You know, you never know. You just never bloody know, do you, to be honest. And then just a cheap-ass rug. Like a... I don't know. Let me find one. I ended up just going for that one. Base game with all the little weird chicken things. Are they dinosaurs? <laughs> Ge geese. With the geese. The forest, the geese of the forest. That's what they are. <laughs> okay. And also in here, because they're kids, they would need a desk of some sort to do their homework on. Just in case they're not getting enough work done, you know. Oh, God, not that one, darling. Um, Yeah, something along, just like this, just a normal. I just want one to look a little bit older. This is the only kind of, oh, no, we've got this one. Yeah, this one here would do. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Can I, like... Can I get it behind there? No, that would be a bit of a squish. Bit of a squish, that. So I'll plop that there instead. With just a cheap desk chair. From Ikea. There we go. Um, Maybe a laptop? Yeah, we'll give them a laptop. They're not going to do homework, though, with a laptop there, are they? And I kind of want that to be a homework spot. Oh, we just we can pack the uh, laptop away when they don't use it. Yeah, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Here for that. Right, and then you can go there without disrupting too much. Oh, I love that lamp. I really do. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, Can we fit a small, tiny little shelf in here? Oh. Oh, Jean-Paul. Yes, there we go. That's very kind of locker-esque, actually. I like that. So somewhere where they've got to... Yes, that's cool. Um, I don't want to litter this space up just yet. I'm, I want to keep this there. But what I would love in here is some kind of vibe where they could do a bit of food. Does that go into it? Oh, it does, you bastard. You absolute bastard. So I'm going to move you up, darling. There we go. And a fridge. Oh, that's an oven, Aiden. You silly bum. Yeah, a fridge there. With a little microwave moment on top for them to just get some little snacky, snacky snooze. And then a sink so they can replenish their thirst. <laughs> <laughs> don't like the blue I mean it doesn't really matter because this is supposed to be kind of an ode vibe back here but yeah that's better and then maybe just a small dining table hopefully I'll be able to fit a dining table in here just a small little cheeky one nothing too fancy darling just the cheeky cheeky just an absolute cheeky what about you no I want that like it's a games table I always forget that there's that like fold out looking table I wish we had that as a dining table I really do. I really very much do. But we don't, so I won't. Right. We'll use this one instead then. Screw you. That's all I can say to that. And then we'll use a few of these. Yeah, in that weird peachy tone. Will they be able to get in here? Oh, I don't think they would, darling. Don't think they would at all. So what I might do... Is do that instead. Yeah. That's fine. 
I mean, they can eat on the sofa if needs be. You know, we can't afford to be fussy in this climate. Really can't. And then I'm going to get a little bin in here. Just a little trash can. Just a little bin. Stunning. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is looking cute. This is looking cute. Right. I want a few paintings from either the kids pack or parenthood um kids room and toddler there we go let me see what we can come up with here oh yeah these are a vibe these are a vibe yes that's a good one that one there stunning um oh these here little projects that they might have done oh it'd be good to get a little crafting table in here wouldn't it can't really fit it in here anywhere that's a shame that is a shame very space themed because of where they live strangerville it's got a huge space program maybe it's said like of a government testing facility maybe we should like build a rocket station like well, i don't know what you would call them is they are they called that a rocket station they are now um yeah, maybe we could uh, do that instead. Where the mother plant is. Was. Because we will be getting rid. Right, a couple of you and then... Yep, a couple of you as well. In fact, I prefer that one. So I'm going to get rid of that one. There we go. And... Anything else in here is going to strike my fancy, tickle my tits? Hmm? What about you? Oh, I do like them, but maybe something along the lines of this would be better. Just to keep them. Oh, let's get some music in there. Oh, we need to get some, remember to get some musical instruments in here too. Don't know where we're going to put that either. Oh, I would have loved a store cupboard, really. Shame we haven't got room for a store cupboard, have we? Really? I mean, I can't do a store cupboard there now. No. Oh, damn. Oh, what about here? Yeah, let's do a store cupboard here. We're going to do a store cupboard before we leave this area. Oh, God. Oh, no, that's fine. Um, Is that right? Let me have a look at that. Oh, yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Right, there we go. God help me. Why am I like, why am I like this? Why am I the way I am? Oh, that's why it was weirding me out. It's because the stairs are there. Oh, do I need to... Je ne sais quoi bleu? Yeah, I do. That's what was throwing me. It was weird. We're going to get rid of the carpet there. Okay, so just a... A little rundown door there. Um, Let's get this lant lantern on the outside. Stunning. <laughs> get rid of those curtains. Um, we're going to put a full blind in here, my loves. A full blind, if you will. Why am I in windows? Don't know. Literally do not know. Right, and you can go... Oh, God, I hate them. Hate them! Where's that other one? This one. In... Burn. <laughs> right, and then a nice little light. Little light. Just a, a light bulb. A pure light bulb, my love. If you will. I always struggle at finding this one. Anybody else the same? There it is. Okay. And then I'm going to put that wood in here as well. Lovely. So this is where they store all their musical instrument of dreams. Um, hmm. Doop -doop -doop. What's this here? Oh, that's a, a um, DJ booth. Right. A violin. We're going to get a few of these violins out. Uh. Oh, do you come in anything other than an awful colour? Can play, can kids play this one? I bloody hope. I bloody hope that they can. We can't use that because that is like 15,000 smoleons each. Yeah, we'll use this one then, but maybe in that colour. And we'll just get a, a few of these. Maybe like three of them. We'll get three guitars as well. In that colour. One. Two. And then I'll face one another way. Three. Oh, stunning. And a keyboard. Um, 
Where's the keyboard? Oh, there you are, darling. Yep, just in black. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Oh, God, where's she gone? Oh, she's under the stairs. Get out of here, darling. Stop it. There we go. One of them. I wish we had some more musical instruments. Like, I'd like to see them, like, playing the sax or the clarinet or something as well, you know? Is that just me? But I would like to see it. Really would. My computer is just about to take off. I'm going to get a couple more microphones out here as well. A couple more of these. And maybe just some more like sound equipment. Or what looks like sound equipment. Where was it? Oh, that was more lighting. This looks more soundy. Soundy to me. Oh, gosh. There we go. Right. And if I can maybe flop you there for the minute. Let's maneuver all of this around. So we can make sure that they can actually get in here, in here and pick out some stuffs. Where did that other microphone go? Oh, it's over there. There we go. Oh, that's a bit too far in there, darling. And you are cutting in slightly as well. So are you. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. I, I will, however, put a cobweb or two in here. Just a cheeky couple of cobwebs. Just a cheeky couple. There we go. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And maybe out here we should do some kind of signage. Um, like just to pretend that it's like staff only or something. Maybe get to work for that. I mean, this, this only ever looks like the alert. Oh, this one here might do better. Yeah, but I'll size it right down. And put it on the door. So yeah, it will weirdly float when they open the door. But shush! It's magic. Yeah, I think that'll do. Staff only. Staff only, darlings. Staff only indeed. Okay, and then just to, to finish off. I'll just do a little cheeky bathroom. Um, boop. Little cheeky bathroom. Nothing too fancy. Um, I'm just going to save my game a minute because I felt a bit of lag there and I'm scared my game will crash. Thank you very much. Very daunting whenever that happens. Get in a toilet, just a normal generic code. Imagine sitting on that. I never sit down on a bare toilet anyway, even at home. Probably TMI. But when I do sit down on the toilet, I always put toilet roll around the toilet seat because I hate that sitting down and, oh, it's very cold. Um, so yeah, TMI, but that's what I'm here for, to be honest. And maybe this one. Yes. These, like, remind me of, like, school, um, sinks. They really do. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Maybe just a little cheeky mirror there as well. Oh, we didn't really do a dressing area, did we? We just have to pretend this is. And I'll do, like, a mirror on the wall out here as well. So they can practice their lines and whatnot. That sounds a bit wrong. Practicing lines on a mirror. <laughs> they're children, Aiden. You need to at least wait until they're teens. <laughs> yeah. Practice your lines there, darling. Stunning. Um, what was I doing in here? I was going to be putting a loo roll in. And maybe also just somewhere to dry their little handies. Sorry, I got distracted then. Blue was going haywire for some reason. I think he was chasing a fly. <laughs> I think he was chasing a fly. Okay. So I think we're kind of done with the main theatre area. Apart from obviously the entrance and the bar and stuff. But we'll crack on with that tomorrow. So let's have a little look in here. Might still add some more details in. That's not working for me anymore. Like with the free build cam and going pay job, it doesn't work. Don't know what that's about. Um, ignore the ceiling as always in The Sims 4. But this is kind of cute. This is kind of cute. Nice staging area. Lovely. And then obviously we've got the top row. The balconies. The rafters. The nosebleed section. Um, and then we've also got the backstage area. So the dressing room. Little get ready room as well, toilet, and then a little hangout space where they can 
Hang out as kids. Have some fun. Yes, I'm here for that. So yeah, as I said, tomorrow we'll crack on with this area and also the place in which they're going to live as well. The actual residential area. There we go, my darlings. Thank you so much for joining me today. This has probably been a bit of a shorter bit than the last two. But um, yeah, I appreciate you coming along. I appreciate you for sharing your sims as well. Like your sims were amazing. So thank you to everybody that contributed to that. And thank you especially to the guys that um, the sims that I picked from. I absolutely loved them. Loved, loved, loved. So yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll be cracking on and getting the final part of this done. Um, it's definitely coming along. It is definitely coming along. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight at 7pm. We're playing The Sims 4. So if you want to come along and come and join us. But if not, I will see you on YouTube tomorrow. Goodbye.